Good morning, good morning, my Hebrew brothers and sisters. How y'all doing this morning? Well, as we can see now, I'm going to cut right to the chase. All blessings due to Yahweh. And may his word be spoken to listening ears. Because we're about to face some things that uh, that must be discussed. Now, you all see right now that Brunswick wasn't enough. I got to go outside and look at my plants in. Uh, but y'all can see right now that Brunswick wasn't enough to get this thing started. And some going to ask, what thing are you talking about to get started? I'm talking about order out of chaos. Now, there's a few of you going to understand that statement, and some of you not. But the Freemasons understand it, and the one percenters understand it, and the Hebrews understand it. Order out of chaos. Now, that's what we finna have on the streets now. See, that's why they had to go back to back with the um, with uh, another Hebrew dead, uh, because uh, Brunswick just wasn't enough to kick this thing off for them. So they need another one dead. See, they're going to keep on killing until they get a reaction. Well, by Jimmy T, they're getting a reaction right now. And they, they want this thing to spread between the blacks and the whites. But see, it's really not the rednecks that's causing this. It's not the KKK that's causing this. Right now, they got problems of their own, trying to hold down their stores and their motels and their country. But right now, we the furthest thing from their mind. But I'm telling you right now, if we don't pull together, them two right there that I'm talking about, the rednecks and the blacknecks, don't pull together, we ain't gonna make it. Now, I've been wanting to tell y'all a story here. Let me show you my, my apple tree I planted the other day. See right there? Oh man, I got a, that tree of probably about six, six, seven feet tall, but I got it planted down so deep in the ground that she's barely sticking out of the ground so I can get down to the water table. Uh, we got some real issues to discuss though, other than uh, the fruits and plants, cause I won't be around to reap them or what the way things are going. The, um, my white brother, I wanted to tell you a story about how we came to be, according to the Bible, <clears throat> about Jacob and Esau. <clears throat> now, what had happened, uh, if you check my Facebook page right now, you'll see a black woman on there right now with a white babies and black babies that she was able to produce. And only the black woman can do this now. Uh, Lisa used to be that way, because I think a white woman done it too here recently. But nonetheless, uh, they had a black baby, but we're talking about black people here. Okay, now, the two brothers grew up, uh, before they grew up, God said that they were going to be at war against each other. They wouldn't get along. That's what he said. They would not get along. Matter of fact, the only way they can get along is through Jesus Christ. And that's exactly what we're seeing today. Uh, uh, we're not getting along, and we're needing Jesus Christ. Now, this 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 killing of this Floyd brother, uh, that murder of him, and that boy down there in Brunswick, man, this thing right here, they're going to keep killing till they're hyping this thing up between us when really and truly they can't afford for us to get together. They can't afford it. If we got together, just us two, man, we could save not only this country, but our own souls. Because we come from the same womb. You know, hey, I'm a southerner too, you can tell. But I'm a southerner too, man. And what it is, man, I'm going to tell you, man, I'm not advancing the Ku Klux Klan in any way. Uh, but the KKK, which are mostly composed of Freemasons, they know what's going on. They know what's going on, and they've been uh, and they've been standing up for this thing. And I'm gonna tell you, uh, they fighting a losing battle, just like we all be doing, cause we need the holy power of Yahweh to do this. 
It ain't gonna be done with no guns. It's not gonna be done like that. It's gonna be done with the power, supernatural powers of Yahweh. And we need to start pulling toward that real close. But let me tell you, see the white man don't realize my Hebrew brother, my white Hebrew brother. See, you was, you was, uh, you was screwed around the same time that we so-called was free from slavery, which we know that just ended last year, officially under God's rule, not on their paper, but on God's rule. Okay, uh, when they when they freed us in 1862, and we had that civil war, see they 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 uh they really sold you out too, because they had gave you authority to be their taskmaster. And it went to your head as absolute power absolutely corrupts. And they gave you absolute power and you did a lot of crooked things. Maybe you're not the individual, but your kinfolk did. But see, God is the one above that, not us. And we peaceful people, we, 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 we hold no revenge. You know, we just sick of that happening. But see, what we're not watching, you and I, white Hebrew brother, we're not watching the same hand that's the same color your hand, but of a different tribe than you, just like Obama got over on us. He wasn't of our tribe. Trump is not of your tribe. And see, you sitting there following this cracker, and he leading y'all straight to the pits of hell. Straight to the pits of hell, just like Obama led us. So what we're going to have to do now is pull together. Pull together and pray together like we used to do. You know, hey, it's a time, if you go back and check the history, that both of us was in the fields. At the same time, both of us was in the field. So we need to uh, come to a conclusion on that and uh, rise up together. And what I mean, I mean against wickedness, not against the government, not against this tyranny that's going on, but against wickedness. Because we are brothers. And like they always say, you can pick your friends, but you cannot pick your kins. So now we're at the point where uh, we're going to have to do something because I got a few list of things written down. I want to go deep into that Esau and Jacob thing, but right now we got more pressing issues. Uh, Brunswick wasn't enough to get this chaotic thing going on with the war between the races, which it, it is spoken of in Matthew chapter 24, the war of the races, okay? All right, uh, we finna have the comings of food shortages. Food shortages, that's why I keep pushing, let's get a garden, let's get a garden, Hebrews. Let's get a garden, white and black Hebrews, come on now. Okay, now, is anybody paying attention to the CERN once again? The CERN is now opened. Okay, baby. Okay, the CERN is now open. Boy, I'm gonna have to cut some grass right here when it quit raining. Shoot, I just seen Tarzan swing through here. But I tell you, we, we, we got the CERN open. And we have it on the streets now, we finna have troops on the streets. Now, a lot of people done doubted me when I said that. But we finna have forced inoculations. Forced shots. And if you don't take the shot, you're probably gonna get shot. I'm gonna tell you, uh, and they, they, they pushing this thing out of these laboratories quicker than glue. Okay? Uh, you see, Have y'all noticed the, t the price of... Uh, oh, boy, look at my grapes over here. Have y'all noticed the price of beef today? Man, it's a blame shame. Boy, look at y'all now. Look at this. Coming right on out, boy. Look at that. Coming right on out. Boy, I got them all over there. Ooh, ooh. And I've been feeding her. I've been feeding her with uh with that duck water. But back to the uh, the issue at hand. Now that we're already in this new world, Lord, and it's almost, what, two months old now? 
Now we're seeing that our civil rights and all that right there are coming to an end. And it's getting kind of like that boy said, uh, uh, what that fella name out there from Missouri, uh, Eddie Griffin. He said, freedom. So if any of y'all white folks believe you's ever free, you was dumb. And if any of you Negroes ever believe that, you was dumb. There is no such thing until you are at liberty with Christ. That's your freedom. Some people call him Yahshua, that'll be fine. You wanna call him Jesus, that'll be fine. You wanna call him Yahuwah, that'll be fine. Call him what you want, but obey. Now that this food shortage is upon us, we are gonna to have to quit depending upon their grocery store. You see it? See them plant there? Got me some okra growing there. No okra ain't gonna hurt nobody. Got me a cup of Japanese. I got me old lemon tree growing up in there. Put them old touch your foley clover. Oh man, we got some of them herbs and spices coming up out there with a lemon tree. My wife, peace, peace, Lily, she loved that. Yeah, we got all kind of citrus things coming up out here. And you know, I'm telling y'all, uh, Hebrews, some of these seeds right here that I have, I'll ship them to you if you want them. I have an overabundance of them, and I'm giving them to you. All you got to do is pay for shipping, and I'll send them to you. So if you want to do that, you just drop me in my inbox and I'll do that because I got a different array of seeds that uh, produce fruit. Uh, not only regular fruit, but highly nutritious fruit, which we're going to need here shortly. Okay. Uh, let's go back to this, uh, this CERN. Now, for all y'all that don't understand what the CERN is, all I can tell you is to Google it. You know, YouTube it. That's all I can tell you to do because this is supernatural that we're dealing with. The supernatural. It's not a game and it's very serious. Now, we've heard say over the years, it's a new world order. It's a new world order. Well, let me tell you what the new world order really is. The new world order is homosexuality. The old world order was man and a woman. So we're in that mess now. Uh, that's just the way it is. You know, uh, it's just what it is. So uh, let us start to look toward the Lord because they're getting us ready now for these Martians and, and these demons because the CERN is gonna bring about demons in ways we haven't seen. We finna see demons uh, as they are, you know, because the Bible says out of this CERN is going to come a, uh, a demon that's gonna sting mankind. Now that's in Revelation, you can read it for yourself. Uh, uh, and God spoke of the CERN, it's there. We just have to read it for yourself. But uh, let's get ourselves together, man. And uh, we finna have the sellout of a lot of brothers and sisters. Each other gonna turn on each other, the Bible says. We gonna turn on each other. And you know, we turning on each other at such an alarming rate today to they've even come up with a word for it. It's called hating. So you got a PhD, a player hated degree. You know, I'm just saying, people are starting to hate now. Nobody wanna see nobody do good. The old crab in the bucket mentality. I learned when I got to Savannah, Georgia. But uh, we had better start to look up. It's finna get worse. And all you white brothers out there, as I told you, our brothers, you are. You done the most damage to us, but it was at the hands of a hand that's the same color yours called the Quasarians, the ones who running things, the big shots. The Quasarians, same color you are, but they're not of your tribe. Just like Obama's not of our tribe. But look at man. You see who running your stoves that you used to run. You see who owned the land that you used to own. You see who owned uh, 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 this country that you used to own. It's been sold to the foreigners. Now, 
I was in Axon, Georgia last night. Down over your way there, Mike. Uh, in Axon, Georgia last night, and I stopped to the little store. Now, I remember when that store was put there as a young man, I do. Because I think I was about 10 or 11 years old. But that was ran by a white dude, white woman. She ran it. Uh, uh, her name was Miss Tusi, white woman. But it was owned by a white fella, just like the store uptown here was owned by a white fella. And look here, man, guess who owned that store now? Both of them. Even the one in Axum. <laughs> uh, the Indians. The Indians own it. Now, there's only one way they could own those stores and go to Walmart and buy that stuff and sell it back to us at three times the rate they bought it for. There's only one way they could do that. It's got to be illegal, because if we done it, ATF will be all over us. Why ain't they on them? I'm proposing some questions here that require serious answers. Okay. I love you. You want to keep it going? Let me tell you, I want to show you something pretty. I'm going to show you something. There's two different colors in this. Look at this right here, y'all. Isn't this beautiful? Look at that. Look. Look. Right there. Aren't those beautiful? Aren't those flowers beautiful? Ooh, almost look like white and black. Almost. And look at that. Can you saw it? Well, if that ain't beautiful, I don't know what is. I don't know what is. That is lovely. Yeah. Yeah, but out here in the country, that's where it's at, y'all. That's where it's at, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. But uh, Hebrews, black and white, it's time to unite. Now, I know I might have babbled a little bit there, uh, but that's 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 where we are. We are in Babylon, you know, but you better make a... Uh, as uh, what God said, a good point in your life, and all you're getting, get understanding. So make sure you understand these things. Make sure that you understand them. And and the Bible say, ask God for understanding and wisdom so that you can understand these things going on. Can we stop these things? No, they can't be stopped. It cannot be stopped. But what you can do is save your soul. That's the only option you got, but it cannot be stopped. So let's get down to it. And get it done, Hebrews. Pray. You and your family, pray. That's all it's going to take, a little prayer. It ain't going to kill nobody. We used to do it when we get in trouble. A little prayer. Okay, then, we love you. I got to go out here and help my wife uh, feed these chickens. Y'all see, she's strung out up that, out there. And she love her little ducklings. She love them. God knows she do. Yeah, that he would do in Louis. Look at him in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, this is a daily ritual for us. But it's one that I like and I enjoy because it gives us old folks a chance to get out before it's all over. <laughs> all right, then. Get your prayers together. Get your gardens together. Get your relationship with Yahweh. I ain't no more talking about it. It's up on us now. Peace and shalom. We love y'all, Hebrews. We clear. Kirk out. But look at my chickens before I Kirk out. Look at that. Look at that. See, that's why y'all see chickens will boo boo in their own food. And that, 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 that. Well, that's wet. Or that may have to be cleaned out there. Yeah, but uh, we have to see about our chickens. We just like chickens to God. Have to be taken care of. Peace, we clear.